Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope today. We're gonna to channel with David Bowie from The Afterlife. David Bowie does have a playlist, so check out the playlist tab if you want to binge watch some channeling with David Bowie. All right, so I enjoy connecting with Mr. Bowie from the afterlife perspective, especially when I want some like advanced insights because he really has this like this degree of ascension when you connect with this energy when you channel him at least for me anyway it's very star very universal cosmic consciousness very highly evolved energy and i love that like i think that's awesome plus he has such a creative a deep caring about creative people like he has a deep caring for people who are creative so um, I'm going to share that he's been with me for about 40 minutes now while I've been doing other stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, okay, I'm going to channel, I'm going to channel. And it's because I felt his energy, I think, and it's a perfect time of year. I'm recording this particular video with David on January 2nd, 2020. So I think if my memory serves me correctly, I think that his birthday is this month in January. And I think his passing date might also be in January. I think so. I think he is one of those people that um, birthday and death date is really close together is what I think. So maybe that's why his energy is very strong right now. So I'm going to share with you as you know, I'm Claire Sentient. I Before, as we're like beginning, I see this beautiful diamond shape and it's like a multi-dimensional diamond and it's literally like a cartoon almost. It's got like a light blue um, base behind it and it literally looks like somebody drew it and it's got all the facets and we're looking at it from the side view okay so it's kind of like the sacred geometry shape and when I look at it it's two-dimensional and the the connector points that show the facets and the detail of the diamond image it's not an actual diamond it's an image of it like a drawing like a almost like a comic or like a, a sketch of it and yet there's a light blue background and then there's like this almost like this purpley lavender connector color so a light blue with purple connectors so the outlines are like a purple so that's the divine um, connection that crown chakra energy is the purple and that blue energy is that communication channel that beautiful um, throat chakra energy okay so that's how we're coming in here that's totally david my friends in the afterlife hey it's nice to see you he says greetings oh that's kind of formal actually I want to chat with you about a lot of things but I know you can kind of go deep and he says broad not deep broad like expanded <laughs> so can you give us some do you have any kind of an opening message or any kind of insights as we just start out because I felt your energy really connected here he says there's a lot to talk about there's a lot that humanity needs to hear the truth is, is there's a lot of ignorance. There's a lot of the ignorance is bliss being thrown about and it's not, it's not pretty. He says, it's not pretty. <clears throat> and I'm not, I'm not in a position to be shameful or to shame anyone or to put upon any one person, organization, entity, state, whatever it may be, a responsibility to correct this pattern but it is a very strong patterning that's why the diamond shape Bridget that's why the diamond shape comes in because there are many facets to humanity and to the challenges of what to pay attention to and put your your efforting uh, uh, your can you say that again what to pay attention to and what to extend and express your energy for it's not as much of a give and take or even about balancing, but it's much more now a call into a, a bold recognition about who you are and for who you are becoming. Many are influenced at this time with outside energies and characteristics that are not, not something that you would typically or normally, I can't tell if he's saying typical or normally, identify with. 
that means there's an opportunity to have some coming home realizations. Who are you? Who, and who are you acting like? Are you acting in your full expression and your fullness? Are you acting from your place of joy and of creation? The creation that you are part of? That you are part of? You have a say. You have a role in all of this, in all of humanity. It's, and it's beyond choice. It's not, it's not the rhetoric about choice. You choose. It's not, it's not that simple. That's just a mind game. It's about muting. It's about putting into context the messaging that is propaganda, redundant. It is, he's, you guys, he says the word propaganda because I'm trying to correct it. And he's like, no, it's propaganda. Put on mute the energy that you're taking in the intake that is making you feel so bad. He said the reason why humanity is in such a dark place right now or acting as if is because there's like this game being played like a big chessboard about who's gonna win and who's winning right now and when the overthrow is gonna come and whatever you part of your life this affects, you better recognize, if you want anything to change, you better recognize that it's, it's, it's about you muting what's not what you want and, okay, now tell me, so what's the next part then? If it's, we're muting what we don't want, then how is that like, are we being ignorant then? Like we're turning a blind eye? He says, that's not, no, that's not what I said. There's too much attention, he says, too much attention being given outward. The outer stimulus, the external environment, the stimulus is coming in and it's actually affecting, he says, your pituitary gland. And the pituitary gland creates a whole bunch of stuff. He says a bunch of waves like tsunamis in the physical body and it messes with all of your systems, he says. Not just your human body, but it really throws you for, uh, gives you, it throws you a, I wanna say it throws you for a loop, but he's using a different expression. It puts a kink in your plans or a crimp in your, your hose. <laughs> I don't know what analogy you want me to use. He's like laughing at me. Get to the point. Okay. The psychic connection that you have, it's affecting that. So is it affecting the third eye then because the pituitary is connected to the psychic senses? He says, absolutely. Why do you think, he says, why do you think that all the empaths feel like they're drunk? Like they are ha they're actually in a hangover uh, capacity right now. A lot of people who are intuitively empathic and clairsentient and sensitive people who uh, constantly read and connect with energy of environment and other people and such, which is natural. He says it's a natural communication funnel. He said that's natural. It's natural to do that. You should be doing that. He says, but why do you think it is that the symptoms are feeling like you have had a binge, drink, binge drinking night and now you have this big hangover, that heavy headed hangover, headache just heavy feeling where you just feel like a slug and you just can't do anything. And when you do stuff, everything is such a big deal. It takes so much effort for you that you just don't even wanna bother. And that is the symptom of what's happening with the impact of the external on the pituitary gland, especially for those people who are aware and conscious of their clairsentient, empathic, and psychic connections. It doesn't mean that you've done anything wrong. He says, you haven't done anything wrong. It's just that you need to start to enhance your, your ability to, I wanna say choose, but he didn't like the word choose, your ability to switch into the receiving mode that you want to be in, not the one that is being placed upon you or pressured into your reality and there is a pressure into your reality it's like smog he's literally showing me like a view of all this pollution and how you know and like in la and 
California and stuff, they have like these smog alerts, you know, and then people who are really sensitive can't be outside if you have like asthma or your environmental allergies and all. I mean, it's, it can be crazy, right? Sometimes it happens too when there's like fires and stuff in other places. Even here where I live in Minnesota, we've had that. We've had stuff like that when there was a bunch of fires in Canada that were kind of moving through and the, the big smoke, you could see all the smoke and it just like this haze. And so he's showing me that it's like that this haze and it's everybody it's everywhere it's in the environment so you have to make more of a uh, an informed he says that you can't if you if you just stop and turn your away then you ignore it it still comes for you like it doesn't just it doesn't just stop it's still there you're just trying to ignore it so then you're you're focusing all your energy on trying to avoid it and that doesn't help you because then you can't focus your energy on being able to receive and being able to enhance your own vibration so now that's the question david how do you expect us all of us caring and sensitive and good-hearted people i mean we're getting mad about stuff and we're getting a little testy and tempers are flaring and people are getting sick because they're man you know it's being manifest in their body what what can we do then what can we actually do like how do we how do we fix this or change this how do we change it change it says um there's a better there's a huge pause here you guys i feel like i'm gonna get a download of a bunch of information maybe i better take a drink of water hmm all right better meant better he says better he says you know better the goal through this isn't to accept the judgment, the doom or gloom mentality. It's to access more fertile time, more time to begin, to allow yourself to build within you a solid structure for your source of energy it is a hundred percent about intuition yes it is it's more about intuition and what you know and connecting going right into the the source of what you know than it is about any action you could ever take it's sort of like uh, biding your time you know not wanting to go out in the rain so you wait until it passes and you go out he says it's not about hiding it's not about hunkering down. It's about taking full advantage of the opportunity of focusing more inward and spending your quality time in quality experience. The energy of you is dependent on the energy of you and your ability to connect in with that dial the control system, which is your intuition, your spirit. And you know this and everything you know is there inside of you and you have access to the wisdoms of the multiple universes for which you can't even begin, begin to, to comprehend. It's not about distraction, it's about Defining yourself again in a way that is so powerful, more powerful, that can begin to allow you to create a reality where you are in your fullness, utilizing and leading with your intuition. And you can't do that piecemeal. You can't do that one thing at a time just randomly he's like showing me like throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks you know it reminds me of noodles in the pot throwing it at the wall to see if they're ready you know are they sticking okay they're ready 
He's like, it's not that. That's not an approach. It's not just try anything, try everything. It's not, that's not, you have to be more focused. He's saying, zoom in to that spirit source inside of you that is you. And not just get to know you, but give yourself that respect that is needed. And you don't have to show that and boast about it and be like, you know, walking around and being like, look at how great I am. I'm so connected. I have all the answers because it's not about answers at all in this state of being. It is about recognizing the wisdom that you hold, which is different than answer. Wisdom and answer. This is different. This is a part of your nature as a humanity that is being called for right now. The attention to the self-care rhetoric and the self-love rhetoric and the worthiness rhetoric is not, is not without merit here. It, did, it has set the pace. It has set the, it has set the scene for you to be able to recognize that all of those things that you've been, he- you've been hearing that actually feel like inside of you is the inside, the soul of you is just crying for, is like, like I want to say longing for, but it's like crying for and yelling for. It's like inside of you, it's like yelling, but you're yelling. It's like in a, being in a dream, you guys, and it, like what, he, what he's showing me here. It's like in a dream and you're, you're, you're yelling and screaming, but nobody can hear you because you like your voice is really quiet. That's what your intuition, that's what your spirit's like right now. That's why there's been patterns for self-development and spiritual development about worthiness and self-love and healing yourself and all this, because we've been, according to David Bowie here, Mr. Um, Ascended Master Transcendent Energy (laughs) from the afterlife, is sharing that with us that we've been preparing for this. We've been preparing for this time. So now it really is, this is the time for you to turn into your being, to go within, to have less external influences and more internal, natural, organic influences for you. So getting inspired, feeling impulses from within you, not externally, but from within you. Getting inspired from within you, from what you're feeling, what you know. And in order to do that, you have to spend time with yourself. And that's true. And he says, spending time in nature, he says, as you have said, you have said, you know, you know this. I'm not sure why you don't actually do it, Bridget. He says, because it's cold out here. It is freezing in Minnesota. <laughs> and I like it warm. <laughs> no, but seriously, I do respect the beauty of nature and I will open the doors and stand outside and just breathe and go out on my deck. And even though it's like so below zero cold at times, I'll do that. I do understand that. But he's saying, you guys, really nature, take your cues from nature. Notice the rhythms and the cycles and the seasons and the the skies and the energy of nature, earth, he says, because with that, then you will be in the rhythm of things as it should be and not, not easily influenced then by specific people, forces, or groups that are contributing to this darkness of the fog that's around the toxic air. So connecting to the earth and the beauty of the nature of the earth, whether it's through like he's showing me like a picture of a flower or looking up at the sky and taking breaths to just feel the expansion or noticing the horizon in the morning, the light or noticing, you know, the animals and just the simple stuff, you guys, like he's showing me nature like this is this is part of the way you do it is to allow yourself to really be in the moment, that moment of that connection and just connect and feel that part of you, like your cup literally in your solar plexus just gets filled up with that moment because it's about energy. It's not about concepts and and procedures and data and how to's and action. It's not about exercise plans and academic success. It's not about that. It's about that, we gotta go back to the basics. He's like the simplest inside. It's inside, It's a diff- there's a difference, he says, a difference between wisdom and information. There's a difference there. There's a big, oh my God, David, that is like the most profound. We should be like, we should be putting that on the Instagram, right? That's profound. There's a difference between wisdom and information. 
Yes, there is. So let's use that, you guys. Let's use that as a piece of advice. And let's use that as something that we can use for our discernment. And I love that. I love that. That's fantastic. Difference between wisdom and information. You know what? I, um, I gotta write that down. Getting my handy dandy journal on because that's a tool Bridget likes to use. So I know. There's a difference between wisdom and information. If you guys are journalers, this would be a great thing to put on as a journal prompt for you. It's, gr it's great. You know, if you're one of my coaching clients, we do, we use a lot of journal prompts or in my divine women's group, we use a lot of journal prompts, All right? To access or tap into our own wisdom. All right, David, is there anything else that you'd like to share with us? He just said, yes, it is my birthday soon. I feel like it's the 5th. I don't know for sure, January 5th. I see two dates, January 5th and January, or in, I see January 5th and then I see the 8th. But to be clear, my birthday's on the 8th. <laughs> not in January though, you guys. I'm not a January birthday person, but my birthday's on the 8th. So I wonder if he was born on the 5th. I wonder what's up. That means something. It's important. And of course, you know, as soon as I'm done recording this, I'm going to Google that because if I want to know, I'm curious about it, I'm just going to Google it and try to find the answer to that. But you can post it here on the video if you're a David Bowie fan. Hey, thank you so much for being here. I totally appreciate it. It's just awesome to talk with you. And if you guys want to rewatch this video, you can do it with the intention as though it's a meditative connection. Just feel the energy of it. Just feel, close your eyes, listen, and feel the energy because it feel, feels a lot like the solar plexus, your intuition was activated, your knowing, your cognizance, just knowing, your heart chakra, empath, clairsentience, sensing energy at the heart, and then also I feel like the third eye was activated. I could feel the third eye, but I feel that a lot with David. I just feel that because I don't know, we kind of have that in common, I think, you know, that third eye vibe. So, and that's clairvoyance or the ability to vision or see, get imagery and that kind of a thing. So just try it, you guys, try that. Make sure you get the most out of these videos, do that. All right, so this is Bridget. It's been my pleasure to channel David Bowie in the afterlife. Remember the purpose at Above Life Channel is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. It's your life after all, so live it. Just live it. Thanks for watching.